the dock was barely big enough, but investigators say these are the nine poachers who shot a British pilot out of the sky. All of them have been charged with murder. Roger Gower had been tracking elephant poachers from the air when a gang shot at his helicopter near the Serengeti. And these are the first pictures of the man accused of pulling the trigger. Prosecutors told me that Njila Gunga has a history of poaching and has also been charged with possessing $15,000 worth of ivory. Yes, we are still looking for the DNA evidence and the ballistic expert evidence as well plus other pieces of evidence that you, I'm not ready to disclose it by now. But once we are finished, then we will proceed with the case in the High Court. The accused were returned to prison until they can enter a plea. But outside the court, there was a heavy police presence. And this is a community no longer willing to tolerate poaching. The community cares about animals. Other people come in and kill them, but most people here do care. I feel bad as a human being about someone being killed. Here in Tanzania, we value a person's life. So when I heard of someone being killed, I felt sad. Mr. Gow was described as a fearless fighter against poaching in a country that has lost the majority of its elephants to gangs. But in recent years, Tanzania has hit the criminal syndicates hard and may be turning a corner. Mr. Gao was killed near the Serengeti, one of Tanzania's most iconic parks, which brings in hundreds of thousands of tourists from across the world. It caused deep embarrassment to the government, which is why they're pushing this case so hard. Within a month, they've charged nine people with murder, and if they're found guilty, they could face the death penalty. Because this is not just about finding justice for Mr. Gao's friends and family, but about sending a message to the poachers that the days of reckless killing are over. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Tanzania.